from your hosts at Sacramento Special Report. Convention Watch. My name is Mick Stedman with Sacramento Special Report, and I am here once again with Odin Makes here at Sacramento Anime Convention. We're here at the repair booth, as always, slash Odin's, you know, cosplay booth, his prop booth, I mean, his little bit of everything booth. So, I mean, tell us a little bit about what you've seen today, people coming in, needing repairs, what's going on? Wow. It's been, um, it's been a little bit of everything. It's mm. been a lot of fun. We've done a lot of shoe repair, which is actually fairly common. Mm. Uh, let's see, a lot of electronic uh, repair. I've got my shop gremlin here with me who does a lot of soldering and electronic repair. What is some of the? We got R two D two going first thing this morning before the con even started. Yeah. He had a, a fiddly connection in his head and got all of his lights to blink again. So, yeah, it's been droids and all sorts of things. Wow, <laughs> those are the droids you're looking for yes. here at Odin Makes Booth. Now, okay, tell us. I know we've gone over this a few times, but tell us about the pieces that you've got here. We've got uh, Mecha Godzilla. We've mm -hmm. got some some other pieces. Just tell us about some of the pieces. Well, uh, you mentioned Mecha Godzilla, so he's a full suit cosplay that I built that I can wear. Uh, pattern enough, the 1974 Mecha Godzilla, the original appearance of Mecha Godzilla. Other things in the booth that I've got, uh, another big crowd pleaser is uh, Soul Edge. So it's the evil blade, the villain's blade from Soul Calibur. And then I have some artwork from, from some other local friends on uh, YouTube, like uh, Dan Does Junk is here, and he brought the Death Scythe Ooh. Gundam. So it's a whole new Gundam for my booth, as well as he made a large scale Lego uh, minifig to match the other large-scale Legos that I made. So he's standing up holding on to a, a classic Lego torch and uh, walkie-talkie, which is kind of fun that, you know, two different guys made this particular scale of Lego and it works together. That is so much fun. Now tell us about what you've been working on since the last time we came out here. What projects have been tickling your fancy, <laughs> taking up your time? What have you been working on? Uh, some of the main things I've been working on is helping out Roseville High School with some of their props. They're doing a uh, production of uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And so I've been helping them with, with making large-scale suites. Uh, let's see, we've been working with uh, a book publisher who is making his own, uh, his own art. So he's got kind of this weird sonic blaster idea of his own that I can't quite describe. Uh, I'm making a full-body co cosplay for someone else that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. Okay. Uh, but no, so some big, some big projects have been happening, yeah. Very big projects. You know, Roseville uh, High School, as you mentioned, that seems like a really fun community event. Um, just always love to see youth getting involved in this sort of thing. So, I mean, when a young person comes to you and they want to get into the things that you work on, what's the advice that you give them? Uh, enthusiasm. It can get, you're building art, you're making art, and the hardest thing with that is, is to keep going. You're your own worst critic, right? So, uh, if you want to build something, you want to make something, do something you're going to be enthusiastic about. And know that when you first do it, you're probably going to hate it. But other people won't. Other people will see what you made, whereas you're going to see the thing you don't like. Right? So, just push through and finish it. Go to a con, have fun, and then fix it for the next one. <laughs> wise, wise words. Wise words from out here. So, tell us about the most interesting cosplay you've seen today. Someone coming into the booth and you just said, wow, that really knocked my socks off. Uh, the one that I saw actually was last night. Okay. It's the first time I've seen anyone do a Bionicle cosplay. Mm. So, I uh, came through with a full Bionicle suit, because uh, I'm, I'm a big Lego fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, he even made it so the mask came off, and, which was really cool. So, that one that definitely was like, oh, wow. <laughs> So walk us through a little bit. We were talking about Mecha Godzilla. It's a fully wearable, as you said, costume. So what are the sort of moving parts here? How, how does how does one get into that? Do you need someone, an armorer, almost to help put it on? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, once I got a once I got the chest on, I can't do much as far as working the rest. So to put it on, I kind of start with the legs and step into the feet. Uh, the legs are built like a, a pair of fishing waders with suspenders, mm. and then the chest is a, a barrel that comes down over me. And at that point, I can't reach anything anymore. So someone else has to help me get on the hands and then uh, put the head on. Now the mechanics inside of it with the head, the head is supported by the shoulders and it's a it's a like a tube over my head. Inside I have a, a, a smaller helmet that velcros to Mecha Godzilla's head. So if I turn inside the Mecha Godzilla neck, his head turns on top. <laughs> so that's you know fun things to do. Right. I, what I want to do and I haven't made get to work yet, his jaw is hinged. Mm. Uh, I was going to make it work with a uh, just like a pull string, mm -hmm. but it didn't have enough strength to pull itself back closed. So I'm going to we're going to hook it up with a, a motorized, you know, before too long. Right. <laughs> and so when when were you working on that? When did this sort of get to the state that it is now? We finished. When I finished Mecha Godzilla, I think. Trying to remember now. 
It was 21, so he's two years old now. Yeah, yeah. Two years old. So Happy birthday, Mecha Godzilla. Two much. years old. Two years old this kind. <laughs> two years old this kind. So, okay, if you could just sort of wrap up the experience so far here at Sacramento Anime Convention. You know, every year is a blast, but oh, yeah. just, just sort of, if you could give it right into the camera, what's been going on this year? It's been, wow, what's going on this year? It's been a lot of people. I've seen a lot of new faces. I've seen a lot of great cosplay. We do cosplay repair, and it's been nonstop today. So uh, it's just been a lot of people, a lot of fun, a lot of noise, and I love SAC Anime. And where can we find you online, Odin? You can find me at uh, Odin Makes, so YouTube slash Odin Makes. I'm Odin Makes on Instagram, Odin Makes on uh, Reddit, and on Facebook. As always, what a pleasure to talk to the fantastically talented Odin Max. Thank you so Thank much, you. Odin. Thank really you very appreciate much. it. Thank you. Thank you again. Good evening, Sacramento. Thank you for choosing SSR as your source for high quality, hard hitting local coverage. Now, SSR, of course, only operates with your support. So please, subscribe, and you can always say that you heard it here first.